Hello, and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Adam Navis, and with me is Liz Wade. Hello, Liz. Hi, Adam. Today, we're having a conversation about the Spotlight program, Making Nativity Scenes. If you haven't had a chance to check out that program in either the classic or advanced version, make sure you, you look in the, uh, not comments, in the description for this video, <laughs> and we'll have links for that. Uh, if you have already listened to that program and you want to hear kind of some thoughts, some processes, a conversation about that, you are in the right place. And as always, please like and subscribe to this video. It really helps us. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, click that little join button and you can learn about some of the benefits that you can receive becoming a member of this YouTube channel. Um, you'll be able to get uh, request scripts. You'll be able to get some special badges and emojis and um, exclusive content as well. So that's a, a really great option for you. Please check that out. If you want to get scripts via email for a couple bucks a month on our website, Spotlight. A couple dollars. Dollars. I'm just messing with you a little bit because bucks is like a funny way to say dollars. Yeah. We all, we got to make sure we, we could talk about different names for money sometime. That would be a Yeah, a we good should. One. There's a lot of different um, yeah, words. Yeah, we should. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, so go to our website, spotlightenglish.com, click that little button, scripts by email. Um, so, so Adam, yes. um, when you were introducing this program, I noticed something uh, kind of odd about how you did that. Um, I heard you say making nativity scenes. Nativity. Now, I would say, yeah, nativity. Say it nativity. again. Nativity. Okay, I would say nativity. Nativity. So making nativity scenes. A nativity versus nativity. I think if you can, if you're listening to this and you can hear the difference between what we're saying, you are doing really good in your English comprehension. Yeah. Because there is a subtle, we are doing vowel sound differences here. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, really enunciate it. So you say nativity and I say nativity. Yes. Nativity. Nah, uh, and a so those really different sounds. Yeah. Well, anyway, so that's a really uh, that's a thing that I had never noticed that you say nativity. Well, if you didn't think English was already hard enough, you can have <laughs> two people who live in relatively the same place and pronounce yeah. words differently. Do you, I wonder which one is like correct? Mine. <laughs> obviously, it's obviously yours. So throughout this program, you're going to hear us say nativity and nativity. Well, I don't know which one is right. Yeah, uh, I don't, it might be one of those things that's just a little bit um, uh, regional. But we're in the same region. Well, I mean, kind of. Kind of? <laughs> How could we be? A... I don't know. We're not in the same city, I'm but we're definitely in the same region. I feel better about being wrong about how you say nativity. <laughs> Fair enough. So you're welcome. Fair enough. You've you've you've. All right. You've so let's go on to what yes. what is a nativity or a nativity scene? So, a nativity scene is associated with the holiday of Christmas. So this is right. not something that happens all year round. It is um, a roughly. A re, not reconstruction, but a kind of like yeah. What's the word I'm a looking for? A little sculpture or um, a model figurines. Yeah, a model of some. It could be various yeah. sizes, right? A model of what people think the birth of Jesus Christ, Christ Christmas, um, was like. So you have. So let's go through some of the the characters who would be in a nativity scene. Right. And I think it's important to say that, like, um, I think a basic nativity scene has to have at least three figures. OK. And that's, uh, who, who are the Jesus. core? Who are the core people? We've got baby Jesus. Right. So baby Jesus and then Mary and Joseph, who, who are would be Jesus's parents. Right. Right. Um, um, but there are 
much bigger nativity scenes than that. You mean bigger so you in can... size and in cast of characters. Right, exactly. So the amount of people. Um, so in the Christmas story, which we do have a great um, like reenactment of the Christmas story in our programs. And so you can check that out. It's called The Christmas Story. Right. Um, so that's really easy. Um, and then it's it's like a play almost that you can listen to that story. Um, but that will introduce you to all of the characters in the Christmas story. And sometimes all of those characters are represented in a nativity scene, this model right. of um, Christ's birth. So um, sometimes there are shepherds and angels. Well, shepherds and their sheep. Right. Okay. Shepherds and their sheep. Sometimes there are angels or other animals because right. um, the birth of Christ took place in a stable. So there could be cows or sheep or donkeys I don't know, far, far, basically domesticated animals <laughs> yes farm farm sort of animals um people uh, animals that people would use for their milk or meat or whatever yeah. um and then so shepherds and their sheep and um angels quite frequently there's at least one bigger angel that's part of the scene mm -hmm. um there might also be wise men um, and uh, usually there's three wise men, but there could be more or there could be fewer. Um, am I missing any? Uh, those are the those are the big ones. Those are the yeah. And the... of course the little drummer boy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> yes, there. Well, well, you actually you you um you raise a good point, which I don't know if it was uh, touched on in the script itself. So this is a little mm -hmm. extra. Yeah. Uh, nativity scenes are something that has spread around the world. And yes. I, I know this because I have a friend who collects nativity scenes from different yeah. countries, and they all have a slightly different um, spin or take on what's included, right. what animals, uh, what the characters' skins look like, and what the how they're posed and... Yep. Uh, what their facial features are like. And I think that is one of the things that is really, um, you know, the story of, of Jesus coming to earth is to bring hope to the whole world. Right. And I really like how that gets played out in different people making those nativity scenes because we don't know, honestly, what baby Jesus looked like. Right. Or, or what all the other characters, who is exactly there. There's a story mm -hmm. in the Bible that tells us some of that. But um, we don't know what that looks like. So that's really exciting uh, when I see those different representations. Yeah, I agree with you. I love seeing there's a um, <clears throat> excuse me. There is a um, what would you call Meyer Gardens? It's a garden botanical that, garden, a yeah, um, uh, sculptures and things. And um, this uh, this botanical gardens every year puts on a show of different Christmas trees around the world and different nativity scenes. And I do, I love seeing those because, you know, some are placed in different situations and some are very typical and some yeah. are very colorful and some are very plain. Um, yeah, there's all different kinds. Yeah. It's a great, um, you know, there, there is a tradition of, in art of, of westernizing, of making, Right. You know, baby Jesus and Jesus's family and his whole life very look very European, which yeah. of course he was lived in the land of Israel. He was not European, yeah. um, and so I I think having those multiple representations makes me think about like oh, yeah, what did what did what was right. that story? What what was that like? Mm -hmm. um, so, do you set up a nativity scene at your house, Adam? <clears throat> um, I. Th think we have one um my it, but okay so this is that's a good question we do have a couple my kids have made one out of uh clay really yeah and so every year they made a different uh, figurine that's kind of cool so uh they started i think they started with the you know the baby jesus when they were very young so it's very crude but like as they yeah. get they get older of course their their skills get better so yeah. the camels are the camels are great, but um, 
Camels were last year. <laughs> Camels were last year. So they, they add to it every year. And that's kind of a fun little tradition that they have. Yeah, um, that is great. What about you? Uh, actually, I never grew up with a tradition of setting up a nativity scene in my house. Um, and I have not started that tradition in, uh, in my house now. Yeah. So we, we actually don't set up a nativity scene, although I do, I do love a nativity scene. I just yeah. feel like it's such a great little picturesque yeah. moment. Um, such a, uh, I don't know, just a, yeah. a reminder of peace. Yeah. You know, um, there is. Maybe, maybe, uh, I mean, I know that you have had kids yeah. after the birth of a child, when you are just sitting there with that new baby and everything is good and the baby is good and everything is calmed down. Yeah. Um, it's just a, such a sweet moment. Yeah. And, um, I think for me, that is a really powerful image yeah. of a nativity scene. Yeah. Well, we also but, so, but I don't we don't put one in my house. I feel like I haven't found the right nativity scene and also huh. we don't really have a space in my house to put it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Cuz you kind of have to have like a a, a, a area spot. of your house that you yeah. set up and made. Right. I I'm not personally very big into any kind of decorations. Yeah. So <clears throat> What? That's so surprising for you. Yeah, my plain t-shirts and my... <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't we can't end this conversation without talking about an element of this program, which is big nativity scenes yes. that are Living not just the small scenes. models that are, might be in your house, but yes. people recreate uh, really elaborate using humans, right? Right. So you might, um, you know... In the program talks about a, a whole town that gets together and creates really the whole Christmas story. Um, but I think more common, at least where we live, is to make a living nativity scene for a few hours. Yeah. And you just have um, maybe even people just sitting there or you walk along a little path and yeah. you see different scenes. But yeah, they would use maybe a real baby yeah. Um, and with the, with a mother and father and, um, you know, shepherds and I don't know, maybe even some real sheep. We went to one that sheep. had a camel. I don't know where they got a camel from, but yeah. the zoo, they had Who a camel. Knows? Yeah. I have actually, um, I've never been to a living nativity scene. No. Have you? Um, oh yeah. You must have. Well, well it was because there. it was during COVID. It was like a drive a drive through oh. so you kind of went to different <laughs> spots it it drive through nativity scene it was okay it was it was my kids you know we were all looking for stuff to get us out of the house yeah it's kind of yeah it's um i think it would be an interesting experience but i don't know i feel like maybe it just wouldn't be as uh, powerful as a yeah. still example for me. Well, there's something, um, and we have this with a, you might have listened to our spotlight program. Um, when you p pick an image, so you have to have someone be Mary and Joseph and the, these characters. Right. When you pick a person to be that person. Right. When you hear it as an audio, you, you, when you're hearing the story, everybody gets to participate that and they, they kind of, Imagine what those people might think of. And that's very powerful. And there's actually something odd and it takes away from a bit of that power when you um, when you have to pick this, when you have to pick a person, which is why maybe you have right. a favorite book that when you see it in the movie, you're like, oh, that's not exactly how yeah, I would. That's not what I imagined. It's not what I imagined. Like and maybe or... there's something with that too. Yeah. Whereas the small yeah, figurines true. are okay because you're like, I don't know. You can still imagine. Yeah, you them. can put your own. Like what you were talking about, it being very peaceful ideas. and serene. Like you yeah. brought that to that moment. You took part of yourself yeah, and brought that. That is true. And that's that true. That's great. Well, um, before we end this program, I also want to uh, remind people that we have a um, 
a video where I make a nativity scene. So you really can see all of the pieces of the nativity being put together. And um, I explain a little bit of the story. So we set up the stable and we set up um, the baby Jesus in the manger and Mary and Joseph and shepherds and wise men and, and angels. Um, so you can check out that video as well if you want to see someone actually making a nativity scene. Yeah, that that's great. I'll have to check that out myself. I haven't seen that yeah. one in a while. It's a good one. Um, and as always, um, well, first of all, if you have a nativity scene, please let us know in the comments. Um, if you would like to, if you've ever been to a living nativity scene, let us know where it was right. and and kind of who who was there and did you have to walk or did you drive through? Or and, if you would want to see one. Or if you'd want to see one, just let us know. We're always interested in what you are experiencing and thinking mm -hmm. and just what's going on in your life. <laughs> yeah. um, but of course you can make those comments on Facebook or in the comments here on YouTube or on our website. While you're there, make sure to, uh, you know, follow us and, and like us on those social media pages. Uh, is there another social media where they can? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Find us, find us wherever you are. And uh, our website. And our website. We're always pushing people to our website because we think it's pretty great. And um, again, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And um, yeah, until next time, listen, watch. Practice and learn. Spotlight out. <laughs>